Well, Sean, that first look, Reggie Bush looked pretty good in that black and gold number five jersey. Of course, as you just mentioned, the Saints kicking off their rookie camp this morning around 10:15, and it was the long-awaited debut of Bush on the Saints practice field. Word is still out on which number he'll have in the pros, but you see the preference he has on his jersey. This morning's workout went about two hours. Bush looked very, very strong for the majority of it, but as it wore on, an injury set in. Word from head coach Sean Payton is that it's a strain growing. As for how Reggie and his mates look today, Payton said, not bad. Well, I think we were anxious to look at all these guys. Uh, you know, certainly a chance to look at, uh, look at Reggie, but to, to look at the rest of the players in the draft class. And I told him last night, regardless of whether it was a draft pick, whether they were a free agent or a free agent tryout, you know, we're really unconcerned with how they got here. They're here now. Now, Bush was supposed to have a 1 p.m. press conference so we can hear from him for the first time as a player, but it was canceled. He was in the training room getting some treatment for that strain growing. We'll have much more on the injury coming up a bit later in sports. Shauna? All right, one. Look forward to your report. Thank all right, pretty interesting first day for Reggie Bush in the Saints mini camp. Huh? I don't think it can get much more interesting than <laughs> what it has done already. It was reported in several media outlets this morning that the Saints were nearing a possible trade involving the Texans and recently acquired free agent running back Michael Bennett. It seems he's expendable after the drafting of Reggie Bush, but not so fast. Day one of the Saints rookie camp had a little twist and it involved a very valuable groin, possibly hamstring. Juan Kincaid <laughs> is live with more. Juan, what's the story? Well, Scott, call it a lesson learned for not only Re Reggie Bush, but for boys and girls around the country. Never, ever stretch before getting in a light jog. So you don't, you got to get out there and jog a little bit before you start stretching. That's the problem. Day one of Reggie Bush's experience was cut in half because of slight hamstring injury, which occurred during the early team stretch. Despite the injury, though, Bush continued forward in the early workout, looking pretty good while holding uh, holding, holding on to that tight hamstring. Bush told us this late this afternoon that his hamstring will be okay, that it's not something he's dealt with before, and that he expects to be back on the practice field tomorrow morning. Uh, I hope so. I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's, uh, you know, I got to talk to the trainers, the coaches, how they feel, you know, if they want me to, if they don't want me to. So, but for, from, as far as I'm concerned, I'm ready to go. Now, earlier today, we talked about Sean Payton saying he thought it was a groin injury and that Reggie would be okay. But after the fact, we found out from Reggie just moments ago during his press conference, which is just now wrapping up, it is indeed a slight hamstring injury, a collective sigh of relief from everyone when we tell you that he says it is nothing to be, to be, to be worried about. He expects to be back on the practice field tomorrow morning to go through another couple of days of practice. Live at Saints Camp, I'm Wyden K, Channel 4, Eyewitness Sports. Scott? Thank you, Juan. We'll definitely get jogging in all day. And those glass half empty types and within the Saints Nation, there are plenty. They'll tell you they saw this one coming. I mean, everything was just too good. A new coach, a Pro Bowl quarterback, and a Heisman Trophy winner. Come on, something had to give. Saturday at the team's first rookie camp, it almost did. Juan Kincaid has more. Uh, hamstring. hamstring. Yeah, it's all right. And with that, all's well on airline drive again. The team's most important rookie in years didn't finish his first day at rookie camp the way he started it, mainly because of how he started it. Just tweaked it a little bit, stretching, uh, ironically. <laughs> but uh, it'll, it'll be fine. You know, a couple of days, you know, just good um, rehabbing. And, um, you know, ice, it'll be fine. It's nothing major. The Saints spent four hours on the field today. Bush's time in motion lasted just over half of it. The other half was spent stretching, jumping, and biking, all in an effort to ease the pain of a strained hamstring. They haven't been with their college workout routines, really. Some of them have been, have been working out, but uh, not as consistently, maybe, as they would have been had they been back in college. So we'll get them acclimated. We get to keep them here for a month and a half, so that's good. But when he was out there, Bush gave us a taste of what's to come. A smooth stride, a wicked cutback, an explosive step, all natural for the Heisman Trophy winner. I felt good. You know, I was uh, happy to be here. I was just happy to be back to football. You know, it's been a while, and I was just excited to be out there um, playing football again. It felt good. Um, a little rusty, but you know, it'll come with time. Bush said he felt comfortable with the NFL style of play, mainly because it's how he learned the game under Southern Cal head coach Pete Carroll. For me, it was nothing different. You know, it was a, a, a very similar to the way we ran practice at USC. You know, I felt like I had an advantage just at being familiar with the way practice was run and, you know, the, um, you know, the style and the tempo of practice and all that. 
Bush said he plans on being back on the training field tomorrow morning and he expects to complete the entire rookie camp as well. He is also very active in his own contract negotiations. He says he's told his agent he expects to be in training camp from day one. From Saints Camp, I'm Juan Kincaid, Eyewitness Sports, Night Watch. The rookie camp continues tomorrow, wraps up Monday. After that, the Saints' next get-together will include both the veterans and the rooks. It's set for the first week in June and will be on Airline Drive.